Hi guys, Ali here from the Nutritional Healing Foundation. Just out for a morning walk and just wishing you all a very, very happy spring equinox. So isn't it great to think that we put that long, long, long winter behind us and the sun has even come out despite it being slightly nippy today to help us celebrate. And I just wanted to share a few thoughts about the spring equinox and what it means to us here at the foundation. So the spring itself, um, if we can consider that in line with the shift of um, energy really. So in the winter time you've had that kind of energy going deep, it's gone inside, uh, it's the water element in Chinese five elements, that still waters run deep, giving us the opportunity to ponder, to semi-hibernate, everything slower and stiller in the body, the lymph is thicker and slower, the body doesn't cleanse in the same way. So the spring now is that kind of outward flow of energy and it gives us the opportunity on two levels really uh, if we think about it in Chinese five elements we think about the organs associated with it we think about the liver and the gallbladder so from one perspective we have that kind of um, emotional uh, work that we want to consider and what needs to be done now for this change of season. Um, the liver is the planner, the gallbladder is the decision maker in the body. So now then is the perfect time after the still waters running deep of the winter time for the spring to give us that real um, vision. You know, the orifice of the liver is the eyes. What do we want to see? How do we want our, our lives to look? What do we want? Um, what's our plan? You know, what, what is this kind of, what decisions are we gonna make about our lives? What do we want for our health? What do we want for our um, careers and our relationships and all the things that really matter to us? And now around this kind of time uh, is such an important um, opportunity to take stock and to give some energy towards that because if not then it comes summertime we don't know what to put the energy and the light of summer towards so then come harvest time come autumn we don't know how to reap the rewards of the vision and the plans that we have so take a little bit of time this week whether it's a vision board whether it's a circle of dreams whatever metaphysical process you might use in order to connect with um, what you want and who you want to be and how you want to feel for the coming year um, just give it a bit of energy a bit of space and a bit of time it really is worth your while on a physical perspective the spring then gives us a focus because it is the liver and the gallbladder which are two hugely important organs in the body uh, from a nutritional healing perspective uh, we talk a lot about the health of these two organs because we know that in the winter we might not be cleansing and detoxing very much naturally through winter um, but then we have the spring clean so now is the time to get rid of all that debris and all that kind of stagnation that might be sitting on our energy and on our health so that we can now start to really grow and repair so we want to take the opportunity now to align with the um, energy of the season which is obviously for the spring and the liver is to do a few little things that are going to help um, for liver health and gallbladder health so the first and the simplest thing you can do is just give it a break so that is probably just even a three or a five day fast or a light eating uh, time where you just do a juice fast or a mono fast or have some more raw foods or some more living foods, fermented foods, things that are just gonna take the energy off the body. Fasting of course also reboots the immune system. So again, it's just a great opportunity not to miss even if it's just a, in a smaller way, just to get some of the crap out that you might have been putting putting in these kind of comfort foods if you like um, try and get some of those out um, for just a week just to give your body just a bit of a break from a supplement perspective uh, there's nothing better for the liver than milk thistle so why not pop that in for two or three months just whilst it's in its energy of the season the liver is going to be trying to heal itself and it's the best time for it to do that so to help it with its over 300 different functions in the body um, the, the likes of milk thistle is just such a lovely thing um, just to pop in there and it's not a big effort to do either um, techniques wise get back into your castor oil packing on your liver if you haven't been doing that just for a little hour a day two or three times a week um, and also I did a blog a, a, a while ago on flax oil enemas which again this time of year is a fantastic thing to do because um, you're not naturally wanting to cleanse through the winter time so 
there's a build up of more debris which is why we need that spring clean so really I would think you know just a, a flax oil enema if you're going to do one this time is the most stunning time to do it really um, so again it's only uh, you just need to set aside a couple of hours uh, on a day where you're not going to be disturbed and just 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 give yourself that gift really because it's going to get rid of a build up of toxins that not many other things can actually get rid of uh, certainly the likes of the heavy metals and all of the the debris that is going to settle in tissue and cells that then stop it with its growth and repair so they're just a few little hints and tips when I'm thinking about it. Um, it's just a great time of year just to really start to get back into your body and start to think about um, how you can start to really love yourself and get yourself with the energy and the vitality that you know that you want to have a great time and a great life. So listen, happy spring equinox. Um, go and love yourself and do something gorgeous. Love you loads and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.